The following video demonstrates one method for creating an existing ground surface from a DEM in Civil 3D. There are numerous sources available for downloading existing ground elevation data. One of the sources that we often use is the 3 depth LiDAR Explorer from the USGS. From the LiDAR Explorer website, navigate to the area of interest. Using the Base Map button in the upper right corner in the web browser, you can choose what base map is displayed in the background. Once you have zoomed in on the area of interest, hold Control and left click to drag a window around the area. With the area selected, a window including the available data products should pop up on the right side of the screen. In this example, you will notice elevation data from 2020 is available for the selected area of interest. Click on the name of the data set that you want to download. Now click on the metadata hyperlink. This is where we typically navigate to a shapefile that is a tile index that represents the available DEM data sets. Click Spatial Metadata, then USGS. Save all the files associated with the tile index shapefile locally. Pull the shapefile data into a GIS application to view the location of the elevation tiles. In this case, we are using QGIS as our GIS application. To make viewing the tiles against an imagery background easier, change the symbology of the shapefile to something without a filled center or with transparency. Locate the area of interest in the GIS application. Use the Select tool to select or highlight the tiles that cover the area. From the Attributes window, you can narrow down the attributes to show only the selected tiles. Locate the unique identifier in the Attributes table for the tiles you need to download. Copy that information from the Attribute table into your clipboard. Navigate back to the web browser and the Results window. Click Source DEMs, then TIFF. Now you will see all the DEM tiles associated with the LiDAR project. With the website window active, click Control F to initiate the find function in the internet browser. Paste the copied cell content from the GIS attribute table into the find window at the bottom of the screen. Click the highlighted hyperlink showing the TIFF. This will begin the download of the DEM. Do this for each of the tiles covering your area of interest. Add the DEM or TIFF files to the GIS application. Depending on the projection and units you need the elevation data to be in, you may need to reproject the rasters and adjust the elevations of them. The projection and units of the rasters downloaded will be specific to the LiDAR mission project and may not be appropriate for your project. Some of the data products downloaded from this website will be in UTMs with elevations in meters, as is the case in our example. Others may be in state plane coordinate systems with elevations in feet. If you need the data in a different projection or different units, you will need to process the raster in a GIS application. The following describes how we typically do this in QGIS. For this example, to process the DEM files, we start by creating a virtual raster. This will create a mosaic of the DEM tiles. The mosaic raster is a temporary file saved as a virtual layer. It will be deleted after we are finished with the rest of the steps. Make sure that the map projection is set to the coordinate system you wish to work in. To put the virtual raster in our project coordinate system, run the warp command in the processing toolbox. This will reproject the virtual raster to the project coordinate system. A temporary or virtual raster is okay to use for this step. In this example, the elevation represented by each of the pixels in the raster are in meters. For our design purposes, we will adjust the elevations to be in feet. To adjust the elevations associated with the pixels, use the raster calculator. Select the reprojected raster, click the asterisk or multiply button, and multiply the raster by the meter to foot conversion factor. Save the created file by clicking the ellipsis in the top right corner and browsing to the location you want to save the file. It is important to be cognizant of file sizes when creating surfaces in Civil 3D. The smaller the surface file size, the less laggy the drawing will be. To reduce the size of the DEM file just created, the DEM will be clipped. Start by creating a new polygon shapefile in the same coordinate system as the DEM and the GIS project.
Start an editing session on the shapefile. Create a feature over the area of interest. Note if the area of interest shapefile is not rectangular. You can also import the shapefile into Civil 3D to be used as a boundary for the created surface. End the edit session and save your edits on the shapefile. This will be used as the clipping boundary. Click on Extraction in the raster menu and select Clip Raster by Mask Layer. Select the raster you just created as the input layer and the shapefile you created as the mask layer. Click the ellipsis towards the bottom of the window and save the clipped raster to the project. Click Run and the raster will be clipped. The following section describes how to create a surface from this file in Civil 3D. Open Civil 3D, right click Surfaces in the Prospector tab of the tool space. Type in the name for the surface you are about to create. For best practices, enter information into the description box describing the source of the elevation data and any processes that were used to create it. Expand the list in the newly created surface. Expand the definition list in the surface. Right click DEM and click Add. Click the icon in the upper right hand corner and navigate to the DEM that was created in the GIS application. Click OK. Create a data shortcut to the existing ground surface in the project folder. The following steps will depend on how file structures are set up for your organization. For this example, the file structure is set up so that data shortcuts can be created from the top level of the project folder. Right click Data Shortcuts in the Prospector tab of the tool space. Set the working folder. Navigate to the proper location. Right click Data Shortcuts again. Create data shortcuts. If you've not already done so, Civil 3D will require you to save the drawing. Once the drawing is saved, click the checkbox next to the created existing ground surface. Now you have an existing ground surface available for you in the data shortcuts menu.